I've moved the burnout oven. And uh, there is the uh, heating element. It's actually a ceramic piece cast with the, uh, with the uh, nichrome wire inside. And here you can see where the salt burned through and caught the coil. And uh, my hope is that I can cut into, cut this corner away and join this side to that side, only losing maybe six inches of coil, if that, and uh, still be able to make it work, especially if I pulse it at the hottest settings instead of running continually so that the coil doesn't get quite the amperage. It should average out and not overheat, maybe. Um, the oven itself is a black hole. There we go. There's the interior of the oven. But mostly a collection of those two bricks are good, but the other ones are busted. I'm going to be gluing them back together, setting them in place, if that works. This side has fiberglass on because it's a repurposed piece of wood. And uh, I just put a hole in it, cut it to rough shape, and then ran the uh, router around it. And then I used the router to cut the groove. The back's just particle board. And probably made this in 1991. Installation's pretty simple. The knobs just go through slots here. I guess you could actually have drilled holes at an angle, but this was uh, one of those uh, get her done in user jigs, and I uh, really haven't used it enough or had a need to uh, improve on it since then. This drill press is equipped with a pretty good stop mechanism. Turn him counterclockwise. Tighten the little flag on top. Okay, and now it'll only go down that far. Okay, and we take our chain. It hits the end of the stop when the weight hits the bottom. A better groove would be nice. Okay. Now, something to drill. Okay. We're set up here. We have... Two by stock and the drill, quarter inch bit. You got a water jug with, uh, well, maybe a quart of water in it. And uh, all we got to do, I'm going to cross in front of the camera. All we got to do is turn it on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hold it. It'd be convenient to have some way like that to take the pressure off so the thing can come back up. This is handy. is because it's always pulling from the same distance from the center of the pivot 
torque remains constant if you were to tie it to one of the arms instead of having it run on the pulley you'd have changing torque You can really, so you can really pick what you want to happen by adjusting your weight. There's the separator tank. One of the two uh, tubs is out right now, is off. How I'm drying out the uh, clay, and there's some stuff that from yesterday. It'll be ready to uh, tumble into, into powder tomorrow. I just uh, finished loading up these three, and the one in the backs from yesterday. Last year I was using. Uh, cardboard but I don't have a supply of big cardboard sheets anymore and they were kind of uh, disposable you'd use them a few times and the paper would peel off of them off the corrugated cardboard so that's the update I've moved my clay drying operation under the carport under the cars actually because of rain these were practically dry and uh, as you can see, they're still rather wet, even though they've been sitting out a day. They're also no longer evenly distributed like I once had them. <laughs> 